Hello everybody. I am back today with my second layout using Tracy Reed's new collection, Felicity. This is part of a YouTube hop. So if you check the description box below, you will find links to all of my fellow design team members. I am going to be working with three 12 by 12 patterns. This traveler's notebook signature, I'm gonna fussy cut that little oval. I'm going to die cut and create thicker titles. And I have that succulent sass uh, uh, sequin mix from Spiegel Mon Scraps that is such a good match to this collection. I am also gonna be pulling in some um, glossy accents for a little bit of more sparkle and texture and detail on my layout. I am gonna start with this, these Traveler's Notebook papers. There is this gorgeous like peach color in this collection that I absolutely love. It is like this perfect peachy pink color. Uh, in fact, I, I like it so much that there is a very strong possibility. I will print all of the peachy pinky colored elements and create a monochromatic layout with it because that's just, that's how I roll. That's what I do. Okay. So I'm going to mat both of these photos with that peachy pink paper, and then I'm going to ink up all of my layers using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink. I talked about this in my video on Friday about how well this collection looks when you give it just a little bit of an edging with this Vintage Photo ink. I'm going to use that polka dot paper as my background and then I'm going to cut two larger, I'm going to say hunks, <laughs> but larger slices, larger pieces of these two pattern papers. So this pretty uh, kind of distressed gingham and then the bright blue floral. So I'm just making sure that I cut this blue paper so that my photos, when I put my photos on top of it, it the blue will peek out around it. This is kind of the style that I'm going for for these photos. And then I can tuck that little piece in just as a auxiliary title or embellishment piece. I actually have a title all picked out. I'm gonna um, cut those with the die cuts. So I'm just looking now to kind of get an idea. Do I like this? Do things need moved? What else might I need? I'm going to uh, kind of audition my title to decide where I want it to go on this page. And then I can go ahead and ink everything up and kind of get it all into place. So these photos are of my youngest son and I watching llamas. This was deep in the pandemic. So this is like this summer of 2020 when everything was canceled and no one did anything. And so one of the things that Logan and I would do is we would go out to um, a farmer's market and after we did our shopping, we would take off our masks and enjoy some fresh air and we would go llama looking. Um, and while that seems to be such a silly thing to scrapbook, it was the pandemic, like it was deep in the pandemic. So these were taken like the summer of 2020 when everything was closed. <laughs> so it was just one of those things that we did during the pandemic. And um, I've had these two photos to kind of document that for a while. And um, I thought that this collection worked really nice. There's a lot of neutrals, but then there's that pop of green. And um, I just felt like it worked really well for these photos. I have oodles of embellishments here that I can kind of sort through and decide what I want to use. I'm going to create like three little clusters. And I really love these kind of fun hearts that are in this collection. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of play with those uh, hearts. In fact, if you also love these hearts, then definitely keep your eyes open for my next hybrid hijinks because we are going to create our very own patterned paper with those wonky hearts. And I'm going to show you how, which I think that you will truly enjoy. 
uh, and it's going to be super fun. I had an amazing idea while I was creating these layouts and I was like, you know what? We're going to do it because I really, really love this collection. I feel like I could play with this collection all day. So I still have all these gorgeous die cuts. I'm just going to flick through them, decide which ones I want to use, which ones I want to put on my layout, which ones will kind of help to support my story. I want to make sure to get a space to add the date for my layout uh, because I think adding the date helps to understand why llama looking was an activity that Logan and I were doing. <laughs> So, um, once I have, um, once I'm sure where I want all of these elements to go, I'm going to go ahead and ink everything up and get all of these, um, bits and pieces down. And then we're going to add our last little details to provide some texture and dimension and something that's not paper on the layout. The first little detail that I'm going to add to this layout is a couple of staples. There were just a couple of spots that I think thought would benefit tags and, and phrase stickers that I thought, or phrase pieces that I thought would benefit really well with um, that little staple, little tiny attachment. I love little staples. The next thing I'm going to add to my layout is some sequins. I'm going to add them as just little pops of confetti to help your eye kind of travel around the page and to accent each of the clusters I've created. And the last thing I'm going to do, because this takes the longest to dry, is I'm going to go over the flowers with glossy accents. It's going to by adding the glossy accents, it's going to pop up some of that color, kind of make them a little more vibrant, and it's going to give them that lovely kind of glossy sheen. Um, I use glossy accents a lot in when I'm working with hybrid layouts because they are such a fun and easy way to act, add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of uh, fun detail to a hybrid embellishment. That's what we're going to call this one all done love this collection. It's so, so good. Be sure to head down into the description box and check out what all of the other amazing design team members that are joining us today for the hop have created with all of these fun colors and patterns. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.